It was almost as if this stretch of Interstate 10 had become a furnace. L.A. Fire says the heat from the flames could easily have exceeded 1,200 degrees, causing concrete to flick from pillars like popcorn. Cars stored under the freeway were scorched. Wood pallets, lots of them, fed the flames. And look at this. L.A. City Fire Engine 17, one of the first on the scene, scorched. This is one of those heaven and earth moments. Governor Newsom declared a state of emergency, freeing up red tape on what could be a complicated situation for money needed to fix things, and said the state is already on the case. We've already identified two million pounds, two million pounds of steel that is available to move in in real time. So the supply chain issue specific to steel is not an impediment in the short term. LADOT officials said first and foremost, if you're impacted by this, consider public transportation and or plan your routes in advance. Also, if you're in the downtown area, please stay on the freeway. There are other routes that you can use, including the 5, the 101, and the 110 freeways. Traffic officers are on location to alleviate traffic impacts. Officials said getting around this week is going to be a heavy lift for everyone who uses that extremely busy stretch of the 10. It connects Angelinos coming from the east to the west and vice versa. The East Los Angeles interchange is a critical interchange for those coming from the east. 300 plus thousand vehicles go through this corridor every single day. It's of significant consequence to the economy, to the health and safety of Angelinos, uh, the impact to our schools, to vulnerable communities, all of that we take very seriously. That's not all. Uh, you know, we transport in excess of uh, 40,000 students every single day. And because of school lunch programs and other necessities, LAUSD Superintendent Carvalho says... Our first priority to maintain all schools open. The space under the freeways is often leased by local and state government. Money goes to help public transportation and state highway funds. They get a lot of money from those leases, but say, in this case, the leasee is being sued for not following the contract and subcontracting their space. They're in violation of their lease. We're in litigation. Their lease is expired. Uh, and we have been aggressive. But first things first, what, what caused the fire to the freeway? There could be an answer by 6 a.m. Monday morning after the investigation is completed. How sound is the structure for construction? Is it vulnerable to collapse? Can any of it be salvaged? And when it reopens, it will reopen according to the governor based on one criteria. That question will be determined on the basis of safety. Please plan for delays and check for alternative routes. And just be patient. Be patient and be kind when you're on the road. In downtown Los Angeles, Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. Well, Mayor Bass is already talking about the possibility of working from home, saying, quote, in addition to encouraging Angelinos to take important precautions, we're also hoping for downtown business to join us and lean in on work from home policies to help alleviate traffic. So here's a look at exactly what is closed. The red line is where the tent is completely closed from Alameda Street to the East L.A. Connector where the 5, 10, and 60 freeways come together. But officials are urging people to detour around the area using the 110 and the 101 freeways. Those are the green lines on the map. And we have more information about the closures and how to get around them, including links to maps and trip planners on our website, foxla.com. Fox we'll have continuing coverage of the 10 freeway closure, including a planned news conference tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. during Good Day L.A.